Hi everyone, welcome to the another video of Postman series. So today in this video, we are going to see another topic in the new map. So in our previous video, we have seen how to run our collection and there are, I mean, multiple new man options were available where you can pass your environment JSON file and data file and global variables, everything. And we have seen how to run the different, different folders as well. Okay. So we have seen a couple of other options uh, in the new man options. Okay. Maybe you can explore all other options that is apply for your use case. Okay. So now, so in this, so what we have done earlier, listen, so we were just, uh, I mean, sending this collections, right? So collections are not, it has just only API endpoints with this input as a JSON uh, raw input, right? So if at all, if you want to send some request which has file uploads, okay? So for example, this is one of the API endpoints. So here we are going to upload some file. Okay, so usually what we do, we'll go to the raw and we'll update the format as JSON. Okay, this is a format of request body payroll we have seen, right? So in our previous video also, we have covered one topic where you can find the file upload download, okay? So in that, what we have done, so as a form data, as an input, we are sending the file, okay? So here we have to upload the files, right? So what I can do, so the first of all, the new man support the file upload also, okay? So it is not about the like a direct, I mean, only in the postman. So in the postman, it is, I mean, you can directly, you can select the file and you can upload, right? So the same way you can select the file here and export this collection to run in the new map, okay? So now let me go ahead and create one file, okay? So make sure the file that you are going to uh, store, right? So that, that should be in the working directory of your collection, okay? So let's do the export, I mean, uh, let's create one text file here. I'm going to create one text file by the name of sample file. Okay. So this is my text file. Okay. And this is in my under Postman tutorial directory. Okay. So now let's upload this file here. Okay. Sample file. So when I send this, so as I should be getting the response as the same file name. Okay. So here you can see this is the file we have uploaded, which is sample file text. Okay, so I'm getting as a 200, which is fine. So now let me save this vector. So now I'm going to export this collection. Okay, if you want to run it in the new man, then you have to export as a JSON file. Okay, so I'm going to export and I'm going to store it in the, in the same directory, which is a Postman tutorial. Okay, so here you can see this is where my text file also exists. Okay, so I'm going to save this now. Okay, so after this, what we can do, again, we can go to the particular folder. So let me copy that this collection file path, okay? So where is that uh, file upload postman collection? This is a path. So let me go into the directory. So from here, file upload, okay? This is a one. So this is a JSON, I'm just copying that. And I'm going to open the terminal here, okay? So the command, if you want to run the Newman, so you have to use Newman run, and we have to pass our json file path okay so now i'm going to click on enter now our new man will run okay so here you can see i have written a couple of test cases as well here so when i go to the test result you can see file upload is correctly okay and the status code is coming as a 200 so those test methods also i mean the test names right so what are the tests we have written that is also getting this right here okay and here you can see this is what we have uploaded okay sample text file Okay, so now if you want to see, I mean, uh, the detailed one, okay, so like what we have seen, if you want to detail of like what went in the request and response, everything, then you have to use it as a verbose. Okay, so let's use this command. So I'm just clicking in the up arrow to bring the history. So hyphen hyphen verbose. Okay, so now I can see the detail. So what went in the request and what we have received in the response also. Okay, so now you can see this is a collection name, which is file upload, and this is a post method. And you can see it is coming as a 200 OK and how much time it's taken and what is the size, everything, right? The, the input body is going as a form data. Okay, so here we have selected as a form data. So that is what's going here. Okay, and this is your complete response. Okay, here also you can see the sample file text is in coming under the file name. I mean, file objects, right? So which means, Whatever we have sent, we have tried from the postman, the same thing you can execute from your new man as well. 
Okay, so here you can see all the details. So this is what the response is coming. Okay, and there are a couple of test cases that's also passed. Okay, so it is not only about the collection service has only the payload as a JSON. Okay, if you have something like a file upload also, you can do that. Okay, so that is what we have covered on this video. Okay, the new man support the file upload also. Okay, the only thing that you have to remember the file that you are going to upload, it must be in the present. I mean, it must be present in the current working directory as your collection. Okay, so it has to be in the same working directory where you have stored in the collection. Okay, so this is how we have to use the file upload in the new man. Okay, so we have a couple of uh, reports also we can generate by using the new man. So that will be covered in the next video. Thank you very much.